Holy crap! Woo! Egg. Hey everybody, Tyler from Valve News Network, how are you guys doing today? Hi, hello, um, it's funny, I have, um, uh, there's a couple people in the community that have my cell phone number, right? And they call me whenever there's something interesting uh, or very important going on that may be needing attention. Woo! Woo! Thank you. Phantom Unboxing. How many months? It's 15 months. Streak 17 months total. Thank you very much. So I get a call this morning, and it's actually the first time I got a call since Epistle 3. Um, and I just want to clear a few things up, and then take Tyler, some- Tyler, is it true? Did you leak yourself at Valve HQ? I've heard there are chat logs confirming that you leaked poop in your pants while talking to a Valve employee. In with Bethesda true. News Network, and we would love an answer. It's I don't true. know what's going on. It's totally true. Hey, okay, so um, let me give you a full backstory, and then I will be um, uh, answering some questions. So, uh, hello. Big Pooings, Big Shiddings, 2020. Thank you. Uh, let me just pause that because <laughs> I need this is important. How's everybody doing today? Is everybody staying safe? Is everybody washing your hands? So this actually came at a really opportune time for me. I know exactly who did this. And unfortunately, I feel very bad for the person who did this. Because you picked a bad time to do this. Where do I pause? Oh, it's in recent events, right? So, for the longest time, I ran a community server, a community team named Lever Softworks. And on Lever Softworks, we did a few things. Uh, Portal still alive for PC, Half-Life 2 Aftermath, the uh, Half-Life 3, um, uh, the, the Half-Life 3 dog resource gathering maps and behind the scenes we were working on a community recreation of f-stop uh, based almost entirely on uh, the available assets we had found new information within uh, the retail build of portal 2 and um, yeah we were building that up and what ended up happening was I got busy and the team fell apart. Um, we really weren't working on much over the last six to eight months, if not a year. And one of the major reasons why this team fell apart was, um, well, we just kept arguing about things. It didn't seem like we were able to get anything off the ground without starting to bicker about things that were unrelated to the game's design or the game's development and, and it's a shame because I was very proud of what we were doing with this uh, little f-stop recreation project we were doing um, unfortunately uh, there were a couple people on the team that had a history of being uh, let's say problematic um, very inflammatory, very accusatory, um, and with a history of racist and homophobic behavior. Now, I had a few 
one-on-one -on -one conversations with this person about it. But unfortunately, um, one of the major development partners on the team uh, is transgender. Um, and, well, uh, the fact of that uh, was, was unfortunately used against uh, that team member too many times, causing the transgender team member to leave the team, and then everything falling apart because that that team member was integral to the production of everything that happened. Now, I'm not saying that this stuff went down because one of my friends is transgender and, you know, all of these things took place because of that, but I will say uh, that there were many times where very inflammatory things were said um, outside of our server that would then make its way over to me. So, <clears throat> yesterday I get a call from a good friend of mine, a friend that I've known for, oh Jesus, four or five years at this point, asking if I would transfer ownership of the Lever Softworks account. Because I own the Lever Softworks Discord um, server, and I wasn't doing anything with it. I was busy with uh, creators.tf. I was busy with my own personal life. Uh, I was busy with, um, well, something that we'll get to in a minute. And so one of my close friends contacted me and was like, hey, you know, we're not really doing anything in Lever. Would it be possible to just transfer ownership of the Lever server to me. Sure, like, I'm not doing anything with it. I have no time to run Lever. And in fact, I had told them, <clears throat> the team that I was stepping down as project manager or lead or whatever uh, of Lever about a year ago. So I just transferred ownership to a person that I trusted and we went from there. Uh, when the ownership was transferred, that this problematic person was removed from the team. And myself expecting a lot of messages from this person, uh, I blocked them. Um, it was gonna be a temporary block, mostly just because I wanted enough time for the person to calm down and know that their messages were not being read. Uh, because there had been a pattern in the past of this person not being, uh, you know, in certain groups or chat rooms and them kind of getting very upset about it, uh, about not being, um, uh, not about being left out of certain groups. Um, so I expected some inflammatory stuff. Uh, so I blocked them so that they knew that I wasn't getting their messages, and... So what happened was this person, I guess, saw that they were <laughs> removed from Lever, <clears throat> that I had blocked them, and their immediate reaction is to leak everything they have on 4chan. Um, this unfortunately proves my point as to why this person may not be the most mature or easy to deal with if their first reaction within a few hours is to leak a bunch of things onto 4chan. So I want, people are screaming, talk to a lawyer. I want to... I want to push a few things out there. Number one, there's going to be a significant amount of misinformation about me thrown around. This isn't my first rodeo. This is not the first time this has happened. Uh, where somebody tries to throw me under the bus in order to be able to get something leaked. This has happened in the past. So let me clear this up. Source code 
to Team Fortress 2 and Counter-Strike Global Offensive as of post-Jungle Inferno, so it would be late 2017, has leaked. Except it didn't. Uh, this stuff leaked back in late 2018 by a member of the Source Engine development community that um, unfortunately had a mental breakdown and was about to do some other very unrelated yet very illegal stuff and right before doing these things leaked this source code onto the internet. Um, I had contacted Valve many times uh, within about a week after this happened to try and warn them and I never got a response back. Um, I did not leak this source code and in fact I never had it. I was very aware of it and in fact the warning signs of the le original leak was very, it was very apparent. Then it did leak sometime in late 2018, and my little group of Source Engine developers, all on this Lever Softworks Discord server, were discussing the leak um, and how to contain it, how to keep it from hitting critical mass. Uh, because unfortunately, if it had hit critical mass, it wouldn't really hurt any one individual in particular, it would hurt the Source Engine development community as a whole. Because if source code leaks, Valve then pulls the ability for people to have that source code to develop off of. So, unfortunately, this um, source code then, which I, you know, I had... Um, requested that everybody who had access to it delete it uh, following the initial leak back in 2018 and, and the obviously the person who ended up leaking it did leak it. Uh, they leak it on 4chan alongside some chat logs. Number one, chat logs from something called YSU Calc 2, which was a private uh, uh, small little chat between myself and a few of my very close friends discussing Valve leaks uh, and Valve stuff. It was never meant to be public, and it is embarrassing that private chat logs would be, um, you know, would be shared. Um, and it was also leaked alongside a conversation that I had with an unverified Valve employee back in October of 2016. This is a topic that I have never wanted to talk about, but I've hinted towards in the past. I had um, had a conversation with a Valve employee back in late 2016. Uh, they never verified themselves to the point where I was comfortable with it. However, the information gleamed in this conversation was interesting. However, there were, there were no real materials uh, it's so it's pretty much all just hearsay rumors. Uh, this person called themselves Cephalon, and it was one of the first times I ever had to interview a leak of any kind, and I got very excited back when it happened, like, going on four years ago, so I shared, like, those parts of the chat log with my friends, uh, very close friends, and then this person ended up with it and then ended up leaking it. I have a feeling that the leak of this chat log. Um, I have a feeling that the leak of this, this, this private chat log with an unverified Valve employee alongside this source code makes it seem like that Valve employee leaked me the source code and I'm the initial source of said code. But that's not the case. The conversation I had with the unverified Valve employee took place in October of uh, 2016. And the... Um, 
the uh, actual source code came out is actually dated 2017 and um, didn't actually do anything until today. Uh, I never had access to any of this code myself personally and um, yeah, I'm not the source of the code. I'm just not. <laughs> In fact, I tried very hard. Uh, I, I've tried. I tried very hard uh, to warn Valve about it. And this is where we get to probably the the most valuable piece of information. And that is, I have direct line to Valve's lead copyright and intellectual's property lawyer. Um, and I have submitted everything, all evidence that I have on this situation to the person before going live. And yeah, so um, I have a pretty good, uh, I have pretty good contact with the, the correct people. And there are quite a few, uh, there, well, there's a lot of misinformation on exactly what's going on here. Um, I didn't leak the code. <laughs> I would never do that. <laughs> I'm not that stupid. Um, it's embarrassing that some private, that a good chunk of private chat logs have leaked. And... I mean, but I'm not going to try and hide it. I'm not going to try and lie to the public that it doesn't exist. It exists. If you want to try and find it and read it, I welcome you. Um, if you have any questions born out of those chat logs, I would be willing to answer some of them. Uh, but as for the source code itself, you know, I have nothing to do with it. The, the public movements the, the the movements from the leaker does make it seem like I am the person that has to uh, that I'm the one that leaked it in the first place but you know reactionary statements first impression statement ba based off of a uh, in a questionable or, or a situation an important situation with a lot of uh, in missing information will cause uh, incorrect information to become truth you know, in the face of no information, misinformation is king. So that's why I went live. Uh, I'm here to answer any questions that you may have. Uh, I'm, I'm here for uh, any, any clearing up any, any possible problems that you, you uh, may feel exist uh, within the community. Uh, but I will say that I want to, you know, self-preserve here. And in a situation where, you know, a possibly, um, a, a bad move made from a person that I once associated with, uh, to try and, uh, hurt me professionally or personally is not going to, uh, go, get very far without me attempting to, uh, speak my own side. So, uh, on top of that, uh, something more fun. Uh, this person also leaked our current build of f-stop um, which is not official it seems like there's misinformation even on what the f-stop stuff was that's not real that's that's uh that's levers interpretation of the f-stop concept art and leaks that we've we've found data mined leaks that we found within portal 2 and left 4 dead 2. so um I think that pretty much sums everything up. I hope that... Um, I hope that everything is, is gets cleared up. And, you know, I'm not new to the whole people hate Valve News Network game. That's a game I have played since I started being Valve News Network. Uh, I've gotten a lot of messages from people worried about my well-being worried about my mental health in the face of this uh, situation. And I'd like to clear that up and say, I'm fine. You know, a little anxious, you know, because this is kind of sucks that this is happening. Uh, but I will say that I'm, 
I'm I'm not this isn't the first time that something like this has happened back in 2016 um, somebody leaked uh, a bunch of portal 2 development content and tried to pin the blame on me for that one as well uh, so this isn't new uh, people claiming that you know I killed certain communities or whatever uh, can't be farther from the truth. Why the hell would I want to kill a Valve community? I wouldn't have things to report on at that point. Uh, but to summarize, I didn't leak the code. The code actually leaked back in 2018. All of this is possible retaliation for a removal from a community by a um, angry reactionary uh, person that I used to associate with. The code did not come from me. It's embarrassing that there are private chat logs out there, but there's nothing really I can do about that. And, you know, um, then you also have our build of f-stop out there, which is not official Valve. It's all recreated stuff from Lever, which, I mean, go nuts with. Have fun with it. It's incomplete. There's really no levels there. Um, how did the chats leak? Well, uh, the conversation I had with this unverified Cephalon, that chat log I did give to about two or three people, one of which went crazy and, and leaked it. It's almost four years old at this point. Um, so it's not that important. And most of the big information that I was able to verify from it, i.e. Uh, Aperture Arm Gordon Freeman and the Half-Life Tactics stuff, I've already reported on. So there's that. Um, as for the code itself, I don't condone the usage of it in any way. Um, I've known about it and could have had access to it for nearly two years and have done nothing with it. I realize that um, it's dangerous, you know, and so, in, in response to everything that's going on right now, I made sure to give my side of the story and all the evidence that I have, all the receipts that I have on that end, sent directly to uh, Valve's lead intellectual property and copyright lawyer, uh, whom I have had conversations with in the past, good conversations with in the past. So, um, yeah, uh, unfortunately, I don't like to be a narc of any, of any way, of any kind, but this does kind of uh, force my hand. So that kind of puts a bow nicely on that. Uh, you will not be knowing or learning any future movements on this topic uh, in relation to Valve Legal or uh, my own personal legal standing. Um, I am in no way incriminated on this situation as I had nothing to do with the code itself that leaked. And uh, the code is the problem here. Unfortunately, the code is actually already out there. In fact, if you're a Team Fortress 2 fan, press 1 if you're a Team Fortress 2 fan, you've already seen the affects of this code. Press 5 if you knew what the casual crash bot stuff was and the new spin bot stuff going on in casual. Press 5 if you have noticed a recent uptick in casual griefing. All of that is possible because the bad actors have had access to this code for about a year and a half. This is not new. It's more publicly known about, but this is not new. This is all being done to kind of make my life miserable but unfortunately for the person that's trying to cause this, they don't realize that my life has always been miserable. This is not new. I have been Valve News Network since I was 13 years old. I'm 23 now. This is not the first time something like this has happened. This is not the first time someone has tried to take me down. And this is definitely not the last. Um... And this sucks, kind of, because I'm about to release a video in a couple hours that shows the first uh, first episode of Valve News Network uh, where I really change some stuff up and be very uh, upfront and, um, you know, transparent about what I'm saying and 
what is, you know, what is real and what is fake. And I'll just show it to you because I'm quite, I'm quite proud of this video. So yesterday I finished up a video about Team Fortress 2. And I'm very happy with it. And I want to show it to you. Press 1 if you want to see the video. No, the video doesn't need to be redone. And I'm not going to be making a video explanation on this either. I understand that the people associated with this situation right now that are interested in it would hop onto this chat, would hop onto this Twitch stream. If I make a video on it, I'm just informing more people on the situation than clarifying to people that know of the situation. This is all I'm doing. Let me show you some... Th let's see if you can point out some of the changes I've made to my video production. Yes, the priority subject of this report is the major movements of the Team Fortress community. However, to satiate the hunger of the waiting masses, the Team Fortress 2 team is no longer in its traditional sense. There is no longer full-time employees whose entire time is spent with Team Fortress. That introduction is pretty much what I wanted to show. Um being very upfront about what is speculation and what is not making sure everything making sure everything is um that's the one i wanted to show that's what i wanted to show right now is telling people to take whatever i say with a grain of salt because until valve says something to be true it isn't true even if it is, because Valve can turn around and say, that never happened, and that immediately delegitimizes whatever I just said. So. However, it looks like I'm going to need to delay the video, because I guess creators.tf has been shut down because of an RCE exploit. Well, that sucks. Today's interesting, huh? Yeah. Temporarily, it's a temporary thing. It's obviously a temporary thing, but it makes sense because of this source code exploit, because of the source code now being more widely known about, uh, we kind of need to see if an RCE is possible. Okay. Well, how would this compare to the 2003 leak? It's nowhere near that. There's no actual assets here. It's just code. Um, and the code is old. Uh, the only parts of the code that really matter are the TF2 stuff, because TF2's never really hasn't... It, it's telling that, you, that the code base of Team Fortress 2 from late 2017 can leak and or become more widely known about, and it can really affect the game because Team Fortress 2 hasn't really been updated since late 2017. So, that sucks. How will this affect competitive scenes of TF2 and CSGO? It won't. This isn't going to affect as much as you think it will, um, because it's not as widespread as you think it is. Like, it's like in the Valve community, yeah, it's what everybody's talking about, but it's not like, something you could make a clickbait video about and show like something cut in the thumbnail you pretty much can only make a clickbait video about possible misinformed incorrect drama about me um so i mean it's not really gonna get you know to the point where it this this is will this affect the source engine modding community yes in fact it might kill it entirely What are you going to do? <sighs> so.
So. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna have to take another week off. Because <laughs> the video that I worked on yesterday is now pointless. Until we put creators.tf back up. Um, that's fine. I didn't want to go back to work anyways. Well, I did. Now I don't. <laughs> uh, why would it kill the modding community? Because this, this stemmed out of the modding community. And uh, this originated from people... This originated from people having act, Valve giving people access to their code to mod, and then um, Why is the chat in subscriber only mode? Because we've got a lot of, um, of, uh, 4chan here, I think. I mean, I'll turn sub only off for a second. Go! And back on. Okay, so I don't think there's much else I can say. Unfortunately, there's going to be a lot of bullshit uh, thrown my way over the next about week. Uh, this will blow over. Uh, it always does. Um, all I say for people that... Um, you know, care about the Source Engine modding community and would like to see, um, you know, stuff like this continue, not stuff like this, but Source Engine modding continue, then I would not spread the existence of the <laughs> stuff out there, if you could. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I mean, obviously, there's nothing really that I can do about it. You know, the fact that the source code exists is um, kind of spreading, which is not great for the community. Um, but for now, you probably shouldn't play TF2. You probably shouldn't play TF2 uh, because uh, if the code's out there, the net code is out there, and No, I okay. So here's something that that's interesting. Uh, I'm hearing some people be like, "You gotta, you can't give information to people, even your close friends." I haven't in quite a long time. It's been about a year and a half, two years since I've given anything of value out. Um, I was already having smaller versions of these problems because of things that were, uh, you know because of these specific things that I had shared. Like, those chat logs were shared in November of 2016. It was the first time I ever really had um, any kind of, like, leak, and I got very excited, and I didn't know how to handle it. Uh, so I shared the chat log with a few of my close friends, and um, I learned from that. Uh, the code's obviously not from me. I'm going to keep saying that. Um, I want to make sure that is the takeaway of this. I did not leak the code. Um, and could I have prevented the code from leaking? Well, the code had already leaked. Um, could I have prevented this from happening? Hmm... It's a good question. I don't think so. No. Because unfortunately, 
the person who leaked it in the first place was I knew was going to do this at one point um unfortunately the person whom this is all being caused by and is anonymous in this situation um always kind of led it, it always seemed like that this person was going to snap and do something like this when it first leaked back in 2018 I warned Valve before it happened like I was like hey I'm getting information that something fairly large may be leaking you might want to pull some stuff you may want to shut down the repo for a while. They never responded. Probably like a boy who cried wolf situation at that point. And then it leaked in... Oh god, it might have been... I don't remember exactly. It was the second half of 2018. And... It's been around that whole time. I've seen people ask me about it every couple days. I get a question about that stuff before this had happened, about once a week. So it was known about, if you knew where to look. Uh, but now it's like media res. Now it's like, you know, in the, the general zeitgeist, which, you know, the community writes the history, today is the day that it actually leaked. Legally, no. Technically, no. But that's where we're at. Uh, the people who will truly be affected by this are TF2 and CSGO players for the... Well, no, just TF2 players, because the CSGO code base has, has changed quite drastically. Um, who leaked it originally? So, I'm not going to dox people, uh, but I did uh, send both the information on the person who leaked everything to 4chan and also uh, the information on the original leak again uh, to Valve. So... I, you know, do you think mainstream media outlets will pin the blame on me? Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. I should probably just lay low for about a week and a half, two weeks. Yeah, I think my April production cycle is done for now. If, um, you know, the mainstream media outlets pick up on this story, which they might. Yeah, they're going to take any opportunity they can. You know. Um... Was the tweet from Gary uh, of him being a jerk? Or was he genuinely asking about your well-being? I don't think Gary and I get along. I don't think he likes me very much. Uh, I don't think I have much of a problem with, with Gary. I really haven't interacted with him very much. Um, it doesn't really bother me that he doesn't like me. You know, people don't like me. It's just part of the job. Um, it's not... It's not really something that bugs me too much out of grand scheme of things. There's more stuff to be worried about. Uh, is this going to crash the economy? I don't think so. No. Um, you know, it's the first couple hours after this stuff has hit media res. So there's going to be a lot of misinformation flying around. There's going to be a lot of knee-jerk statements to things. You know, and that's just part of it. That's just what happens. So, um, any other questions? Because I'm going to wrap this up. Why do people hate you anyways? Um, because my content was shit for a very long time. Because my content wasn't very good, and I was getting a lot of attention for content that wasn't very good. Simple as that. And because of that, I formed a first impression and quite a reputation with a lot of people that viewed the early, the early iteration of my content and have not allowed themselves, well, really don't see any value in watching the content that I have produced lately. Uh, because... I've taken it upon myself for a very long time to try and 
create better content as I move along. And, you know, um, the gaming news cycle is very quick. Uh, so this isn't going to be something that really sticks around for very long. And if it does, it'll be because of uh, legal action being taken against the sources of this information. Um, something funny. I, after the Cephalon conversation, had warned Valve about it. <laughs> it's just, you know, whatever. I used to report all the leaks that I got. <laughs> then I stopped that, and now I've started it back up. Um, 4chan is trying to imply Gray leaked the code. Is that a joke? Gray doesn't develop in Source Engine. What will happen to the people involved with this leak? Probably nothing, to be completely honest. Um, Valve is very, z you know, zero or a hundred, no in-between kind of movements. Uh, when it comes to this kind of stuff. They're either going to do absolutely nothing or they're going to sue you out the ass. Um, will other multiplayer source games be affected by this? I'm sure. Where is Cephalon now? Fairly certain he was fired years ago. We stopped talking in like December of 2016. Uh, I was much younger, way dumber, when I had that conversation with Seth. Um, it's interesting that I'm able to say Seth on a live stream. Um, I've referred to Cephalon quite a few times, and it's very possible Cephalon was never a Valve employee. Uh, it's very possible that everything that person said was bullshit. Um, but unfortunately, people are gonna get mad about anything that they read. You know, I, I hop on Reddit and I see that it's on r slash games. Great. Um, people are mad that I was pressing Cephalon for more information to validate his or her identity. Yeah, okay. Hi, Tyler. It's Pelpix. Hi, Pelpix. How you doing? I haven't spoken to you in a while. Why would Gary tag you on Twitter? He's just trying to make a joke. It's not that big a deal. Actual Pelpix? I don't know. Pelpix and I did the uh, History Portal together. Excellent video. Excellent developer. I'm just gonna turn the music. I'm just not in the mood for this kind of music right now. Anyone getting fired for this? Probably not. Probably not. But that's, that's not my decision. Have I ever spoken to Gary? Uh, in tweets. Never like one-on-one -on -one directly, no. Are the current leaked sources kind of worthless? No new findings or undiscovered stuff. There's nothing really there. Yeah. The value that's, that's held in source code is just for bad actors. Um... I know that some could probably look at this and think, oh, there's like a wealth of information that you could you could glean from all of this, but unfortunately there really isn't. Uh, most of the information you can glean is just how can you create an even better TF2 exploit. That's a shame. That is a shame. CSGO really won't be affected as much, especially if they move to Source 2 anytime soon. Then the code's worthless. Um, is this going to affect videos? Yes. I'm going to take another break. Sorry. I have enough in savings to be fine for a while. Uh, what if someone used the code to make new games on a scale of 1 to 10? How illegal is that? 10. It's very illegal. Will Valve do anything about it? Probably not, but don't take that as binding legal advice. Is VAT going to be broken? That server side. No.
Um... Will it have any positive impact? Yes, very much so. Uh, the Band-Aid has been ripped. I'm free of this problematic person who has been giving me headaches for the last three years. This is all they can do. This is their last... They played all their chips at once. Um... And, um... I mean, like... It's another thing I can talk to Valve about. I guess that's a positive. I don't know. But it's nuts. You know, I tweeted, I, I hope one day I'll be able to write a book about all the stories that I've experienced of things that I'll never really be able to talk about while I'm a professional, you know? It's, uh... Silo... Silo... Queen? I don't know how to pronounce your name, Kay. Everyone shut up for a second so I can talk to Tyler. Alright, I'll pay attention for you, to you for right now. I'm not gonna mod you because you just appeared on my Twitch page, but I'll listen. Uh, does this make a TF2 Source 2 port more likely? No, in fact, it makes it less likely. It colors the community in a bad light. The community is willing to do dumb shit like this. Pretty sure that there's, in these latest 10 years of VNN, there's enough to stuff to write a book. Yeah. This leak is from Daniel, right? Correct. It's up to you to tell that story, Kai. Where do I get the companion cube behind you? Oh, it's been sold out for a long time. I'm sorry. Can Titanfall 2 be affected? No. <laughs> Not at all. No, Titanfall 2 cannot be affected. Just checking my email. I sent, you know, everything I needed to send to Valve, and I just await a response from them. And it's already slowing down. Okay. Man. This stuff... The half-life of the half-life stuff is very short. That's nuts. Yeah, I mean... That sucks that, you know, we had to shut down the creators.tf servers temporarily. That does suck. That's the part that pisses me off. <sighs> Valve has leak problems in general. By God, they do. They do. Yeah, uh... Does Valve usually send back responses on important stuff like this? Yeah. Why Valve workers leak stuff to you? They're at risk to be fired for this. I know. I don't know. Once again, that person approached me. <laughs> again. It's just another one of those cases where some... Random person gets in contact with me and just starts talking. What's the source of this leak? I know exactly. I'm not going to name drop exactly who's been pulling this shit. That's... If you're uninformed on what's happening, I'm not going to try and inform you. It's best if more people are uninformed. Uh, but unfortunately, um, you know.
So is this the code from the Portal 2 code base given to the exposure people? I don't... I don't know. Could this be used to exploit TF2's item drop system? I don't know. It's a good question. I don't think so. Are you considering talking to a lawyer? Yep. I... I you know... I do the things that I do, but I'm not going to tell you what I do. The, the person that I was even a few years ago is an entirely different person than I am now. Doing this job makes you mature quickly. You know, there's a lot that you have to learn in order to be in at least 10% of the internet's good graces. If you get, if you understand what I'm trying to say there. I, um... I mean, it upsets me that this is the healthy rea- this is, a, this is the reaction that people might go, but... You know, there's really nothing I can do about it. There's nothing I can... I'm Valve News Network, and unfortunately, Valve News Network is a very divisive entity. Uh, and that divisiveness, divisiveness, is born out of, you know, people's negative opinions of my older content. And so, you know, there's nothing I can do about that. My old content, blue chunks. But everybody's got to be able to um, start somewhere and uh, grow and get better at things, you know. Sucking at something is the first step towards being kind of good at something, you know. <sighs> I'm not super involved in the source code leak at all. Unfortunately, the other materials that leaked alongside of it uh, were leaked to make it seem like I was more involved in it. It was a little dirty tactic in order to be able to throw me under the bus. Um, you know. The source code is not from 2019, it's from 2017. It's from mid-2017. Okay, people are freaking out about a, a person named Thrill Seeker here. Hello, Thrill Seeker. It's from 2018. It leaked in 2018. Oh, it's from 2018. Would have been very early 2018 then. Okay. Wasn't a lot of the information you were given in the logs wrong? Maybe there was a fake person setting you up? Yeah. That's why it wasn't public. <laughs> That's just part of the job. That's just one of many, 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 many chat logs that exist uh, with possible informative sources. It's just part of the job. That just happened to be the first one. So I got very excited and shared it with a few friends, which I never did again. But, you know, live and learn. It came back to bite you in the ass. So what are you going to do? You know. Is Valve going to acknowledge Left 4 Dead 3 now? Well, no, why would they? So I'm definitely going to be taking a, another break. The plan moving forward is likely wait out the rest of this month, unfortunately. And, um, yeah. Is the Q&A done or not? Uh, I'm wrapping it up, you know. Yeah, I'll just have more time to play Fallout 76, yeah. 
Do you want to work together on something VR related at some point? Email me, tylermcvicker at yahoo.com. Let's get something going. Unrelated, but I can tell you've lost a bit of weight. Congrats, bro. Thank you. Tyler, are you going to be fine because you know your mental issues? Yeah, well, I mean, it's no secret that I have mental issues. I have a few, uh, I have a few mental disorders that I have been professionally treated to a f for a few times, but I'm not looking for any kind of like um, sympathy on the situation because of that. The situation is serious and I don't want people to start talking like, oh, he's trying to... I appreciate your concern for my mental well-being. Uh, this isn't the first time something like this has happened uh, and this will not be the last. Um, and yeah, right now I'm fine. <laughs> it's a little anxious. It's a little anxiety provoking. But in the grand scheme of things, um, this will have a net positive on my life because I am rid of the person that did all of this now because that was like yanking a band-aid. I figured you had a lecture helping you calm down before the stream. No, actually, I rolled out of bed and started the stream after writing a few emails to uh, the proper Valve people you know, in, in getting a, a handle on what was going on. Um, yeah. This is one of the worst situations to be in given today's social climate. There's not really anything here that's cancelable. All of the uh, chat logs and stuff that leaked are more just talking about Valve. <laughs> All of this stuff blew up this morning. Yeah, I was called, I rolled out of bed. And all of the information and uh, stuff that I have access, that you have access to is, is a few years old, at least. Chat logs are from 2016 and 2017, codes from 2018. Managing misinformation is challenging, but I've learned the best way to do it is set the record straight as soon as possible. Be upfront and transparent. Don't try and hide the facts. And then step back. Take a break. Don't read anything that isn't, like, directly in your email for a while. And just relax. Because... You know... Yeah. Are you going... Anything you want to say to the development community for what happened? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry that... You know, things have to continue happening this way. I'm sorry that this community... Is the way it is. But unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about it. And the longer... See you, Kay. The longer I spend in the Valve community, the longer I, uh, they know I kind of hate you, so it'll mean something. Thanks, Kay. Um, yeah, I mean, this community is bonkers, man. It's nuts. Once you get deep enough into any community, I'm sure it's crazy, but... I mean, people are just going to be making stuff up about me now because it's a meme. And, uh... Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to try and go into the really deep-seated problems within these gaming communities that I'm a part of. And I'm sure it's the same everywhere if you get deep enough, so... But I've been very um, involved with the Valve communities for like a decade. Um, and I have seen the community kind of turn a bit more angry as time moved forward, which is worrying. You know? Yeah. 
simple as that, man. Simple as that. Yeah. I mean, I can't win 4chan over. It's never going to happen. <laughs> I used to want to do that, but now it's just like... I'm just uh, trying to figure out the most healthy way for me to be able to continue doing this job. How is it possible that this has been out for two years and it never got very popular? It seems like a huge deal. Well, I was actually trying to contain it and keep it from hitting Meteor Res for a while. Uh, I gave up on that last year. But, you know. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? There's nothing you can do. All right, um, I've been talking for about an hour. I'd like to go back to sleep, if I'm going to be terribly honest with you. And, uh, yeah, I think I've said everything that I need to say. Um, and I think that I'm, you know, just, just going to try my best, you know? All right, love you guys. Peace and hair grease. Tyler McVicker, this is Valve News Network. Have a good day. Adiós.